Hi, welcome to Naz's video presentation. I'm going to show you how to make the restaurant style chicken madras. I've got all the ingredients in front of me. I've got a pan, it's sitting on the hob on medium heat um, for a last minute or two. Okay, so let's start. You're going to need the oil, which is the oil goes in like so. Okay, I'm going to put the garlic. ginger okay at this stage you might want to take this off the heat as the garlic and the ginger is caramelizing with the onion what you must remember is if you burn this combination start again because it's going to be very very bitter right okay now we're going to put it back on there on the hob and i've got about a teaspoonful of salt there Okay, whilst that's simmering, I'm going to get the chicken and I'm going to marinate the chicken. This is about 700 grams of chicken, which has been cut. It's chicken breast, which has been cut into small pieces. Okay, what I have is the madras curry powder, which is this one here, in a bowl. And I have some vinegar to marinate it. And I'm going to marinate this for a few minutes. All right, one, two, and about three tablespoons of vinegar, which has gone in there. Um, I'm just going to mix it in like so. Just work it, work it into the chicken. It's already smelling lovely. I smell that now. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to let that sit over there. This has been frying up now for probably about four minutes. Okay, it's soft. It's ready for the chicken, which has been marinating. I'm going to put that chicken in now. Watch you don't burn yourself. Okay, like so. I'm adding the two tablespoons of tomato puree. And I'm going to cook this and simmer this for a few minutes. Put the lid on it. Let this cook for about two or three minutes. Okay, now we're going to look at this now. It's been simmering for about three minutes. As you can see, it's, it's just the tomato puree. It's the marinade and the spices that the chicken has been marinated with. All right. I'm going to add the madras curry powder. Now, this has been cooking for about four, maybe five minutes. And I've already used two spoons of Madras curry powder to marinate the chicken. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add two more. Actually, it's, this is about three. Why that is, is because I've got, uh, I've got some mushrooms. And of course, the mushrooms are going to soak up a fair amount of the spices. Now, as you can see, this is cooking. Let's put the lid on it and let it simmer. I would say probably another five minutes or so. It's been cooking for about five minutes and the chicken's cooked nicely. We're going to add the water. Because I'm adding mushroom which has water in it, I've got about 12 ounces of warm water in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to simmer this, and once it gets on the boil, I'm going to put the mushroom in. All right, this has been simmering out for about two minutes. It's just come up to the boil, as you can see. All right. And what we're going to do is we're going to add the, the mushroom to it now. Let's put the lid on it and cook for about five minutes. Okay, now this has been cooking, simmering for about five minutes. As you can see, the mushrooms have cooked now. All right, and the spices have actually worked in. It hasn't reduced too much um, because the mushroom it has water, so there's quite a bit of water left still in there now. We're gonna add fresh coriander and the tomato, and we're gonna let that for a few more minutes. 
If you want to cheat, um, if you feel as though it's too thin for you and it's not the consistency that you are normally used to, what you can do is you can cheat. Um, simply adding a couple of spoons of mashed potato, instant mashed potato, and mix it in with uh, the with madras, and it will get to the consistency that you would normally get from the restaurant. Let me just show you. That's two spoons full. There you go. Well, it's one and a half anyway. And if we just sort of work this in. See, there you go. So in the restaurants, what we tend to do is we use vegetables, we puree the vegetables in order to thicken the sauces, you see. But as you don't have pureed vegetables in your home, mashed potato works just as well as you can see. Look at that, it's, it's thickened up nicely. Okay, it's been cooking now for another minute. And there we go, look at that, it's thickened up nicely. That's the restaurant consistency, all right? There you go. That's ready to serve. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to dish it out. Chicken and mushroom madras. Okay, all we need to do is garnish it a little bit. Restaurant style chicken madras, or should we say chicken and mushroom madras, using Naz's curry kits. This is a chicken and mushroom madras, restaurant style, with a restaurant style pilau rice, which is made in your own home. Now, the rice, you can actually see it being made on our rice demonstration, on the rice section. Um, the decorations, now we, there is a page dedicated to decorations on how you can actually make those decorations. So go and check them out and see what you can do. All right, thank you.